Hello everybody, it is Matty Ice, your uh, favorite Mario Baseball player once again. Bring you a new video, this is a bit of a sketchy setup, testing out a new microphone. Don't have the best microphone stand, so just trying to make it work. But um, with the newest release of um, Foolish Bailey, the side channel of Foolish Baseball, he made a Mario Superstar Baseball video the other day, and quite a bit new members joined. And maybe they played this game as a kid and never knew there was a competitive scene, and they wanted to try getting into the competitive scene and maybe it could help having a guide with a lot of good information as to knowing who's meta maybe showing some examples whereas just making a tier list video it's like yeah they can hear all the things but they don't have like visual examples as to why some characters are good so um first off i want to start this video by going out going over over the one star swingers first so first we're going to use green paratroopa and the reason why Green Paratroop is good is because he has a one-star swing that does a line drive. So that right there can go down the line, and it can go for doubles, as you can see right here. I'll do a couple more just to show an example. Give you different reasons to see how this can work. Luigi threw me a way outside pitch. That was unhittable. Thank you, Luigi. And he can spray it over to that side of the field, too. Now, the one detriment of these one-star swings is if you don't hit them too well, they can get caught by the middle infield, which is middle infield being shortstop and second base, and it can result in double plays a bit. So there's a couple of swings of green paratroopa, and it has to be green paratroopa. You can't use red paratroopa. Pretty much the rule of thumb for these star swings is they all have to be green. So next, we're going to have a character that doesn't necessarily have a different color, but this is a character that, that does have the one-star swing, and that is Toadsworth. So you can just do it right there. Works just the same. That same line drive kind of curve star swing. So that's Toadsworths. We're just going to go through all of them. So it'll be a bit repetitive, but I think it's important for all the new people to know like what swings work and what color characters they work with. So Match Coop is a pretty inter interesting ex example of this because all color variants do that same one star swing. So I'm not going to go through every color. Just take my word for it. Most... Um, common choices are either blue magic koopa because blue gives slightly increased speed whereas red magic koopa gives slightly increased slap slap hitting power so i'll just go ahead and pick red magic koopa and we'll do the one star swing here and just again that same line drive goes right to that corner see so yeah, all magic koopas have the same color so just take my word for it. I promise you I'm not lying. Next up, we have Dry Bones. Now, Dry Bones is an interesting character. This is the first opportunity where we, we have two possibly new color variants where you can do. So, Green Dry Bones is the one with the one star swing that does the line drive. So, I'll show it here as well. Problem with Green Dry Bones is that his bat is kind of short. So, it can be kind of hard to reach his outside ball. So, like right there, that was an outside pitch that was just barely a strike. But um, because his bat's so short, it can be hard to kind of keep it in fair territory. But that right there, again, it goes kind of low compared to Magic Koopa and Toadsworths and even Paratroopas. So Dry Bones is definitely a bit weaker. But there's his Star Swing. And next, we have Green Noki. So once again, sticking with the green theme. And we're going to get a pitch from Luigi here and that right there. I was actually pulled, very surprising. I'll do one more with Noki, because usually you don't pull the star swings. You can, though. It's not a big deal. But uh, Noki, another character that has it, that right there. Just foul. A good third baseman probably would have caught that one. But um, And lastly, there is Boomerang Bro, but Boomerang Bro hardly uses it, because he's just a power hitter. You usually want to hit home runs with him. And hit the, how high his line drive goes is pretty shallow. So it's not really recommended doing it. So that right there, kind of the same principle. I wouldn't say it's as good as the others, but it is it is an option if you want. And now next, the uh, newest discovery by Vicless Falcon is that the uh, Pop Fly Star Swingers, which um, Red Shy Guy and Black Shy Guy have, Red Koopa Troopa, and Red Dry Bones, Red Noki, Regular Green Hammer Bro, PD Piranha, King Boo, they all have it, but I'm just going to show, oh, and Pink Pink Menace. This is Red Piazza, the community calls him Pink Menace, so that's pretty much his nickname, but the catch with this star swing is that your batter has to be right-handed, 
So say, for example, Dry Bones and Shy Guy, they start off as left-handed hitters. So what you want to do is press the X button, and as you can see on the top left of the screen, the bat icon and throwing glove icon switches from left to right. So you want to make, make it a red Shy Guy. And with this swing, you got to hit it on the inside part of your bat. So it's very... It's kind of gimmicky, I feel like, but that right there, that's a very nice shallow pop fly that'll drop every single time. If um, the counter to this, if you're trying to go against this, is you want to pitch it outside, because then Shy Guy can't really jam it on his bat. So that right there, Luigi pitched it inside, and I was able to get a nice shallow single. I'll try to show an example of an outside pitch here. If he'd be so kind to of throw one, he does not. But but right there, I purposefully got good contact on it. I didn't get jammed, so I could show you. If you get too good of a contact, it'll fly out like that. And so if the opposing pitcher pitches it outside, Shy Guy can only reach so far off the plate. So where he's going to get good contact pretty much, so he'll pretty much always hang in the air. So that's a way to counter that star swing. But if your opponent does happen to um, jam you with the with a pitch and, you, and the person tries to go for that pop fly star swing, it will pretty much get caught. 100% well not 100% of the time but very likely so pink menace right here he has it that was a good hit right there pretty much red shy guy and um red piant are the most popular choices to do this new pop fly one star swing tech with so um that pretty much does it for the star swingers just wanted to show that because i feel like these are sort of niche or characters that have pretty good importance as to why um, you should probably draft them. So um, next up, I'm going to talk about, and then I'll show some examples from um, previous games that have been uploaded online, why certain characters are really valued. So um, first I'm going to go over Yoshi. Yoshi is undoubtedly the best fielder in the game, and if you have a chance to pick him up, I highly suggest you do in the draft. He's just such a valuable fielder now a lot of people growing up they probably played him in center field which um is fine especially if you're playing stars on but his true value is actually in left field because a lot of the times people will be pushing the ball to left field so i'll sh show some clips here i just got to get it ready on old google chrome i have a few examples set up for you guys Getting to it. And all right. So here we go. I'm going to adjust Google Chrome into OBS now. So here you are. You see it on the screen. And here's just an example as to why Yoshi in left field is super good. So as you can see, Boo hitting it. But Yoshi, that's a Yoshi exclusive catch. No other character is catching that ball. A few more examples as to why Yoshi's so good. Another popular tech is um, Donkey Kong with his star swing. It's a very, it's a ball that curves into the outfield and oftentimes can land. But Yoshi in the outfield is a great counter to catching this ball. So as you all will see here, I see Yoshi sticking out that tongue, making the great catch. And um, one more. This one also including Birdo. So Birdo's going to get some time to shine here first. Birdo's pretty similar to Yoshi. As you can see, she kind of just sucks the ball in. Very similar to Yoshi's tongue. And on this next at bat here, we'll see Noki hit a shallow fly ball. And Yoshi's tongue does a great job catching that. He's pretty much... he's The reason why Yoshi's so important in left field is because he catches so many exclusive hits that only he can catch. Even, say, a character like Toadette, who's just as fast as Yoshi, speed stat-wise, she doesn't have the tongue catch. And that's the difference maker as to... What balls get caught or not. So Yoshi, just tremendous value as a fielder, as you all can see. So I guess we'll go and talk about Birdo now. So Birdo is a great character for multiple reasons as to why you should also draft her. So I'll show the examples here. Here's why she's so good because of her fielding ability. Birdo, great suction catch. Birdo just... Birdo just does such a good job at catching those like line drive star swingers I showed before. If um, the opponent doesn't hit the ball high enough with them and they're too low and they don't get enough horizontal range to where it can avoid Birdo, Birdo is a great um, shortstop or second baseman that can do a great job of sucking those balls up. 
next with Birdo. If I can find the clip. Where's the clip? Where's the clip? Okay, so this is the next reason why Birdo is so good. Um, in this game, you have the ability to make certain characters your captain. And if a character is your captain, then it will be their star swing will only cost one star swing. Now, normally, if you're playing a normal character like those line drive star swingers I gave examples earlier, it only costs one star to use it. But um, if your character isn't your captain, then it costs two stars. So as you can, as you can see here in this example, this is a Captain Birdo team, as you can see in the top left of the Birdo icon. And in the bottom right of the screen, you see that Birdo only has one star, as indicated by the yellow circle on the star meter gauge. So this means in this situation, if Birdo is not the captain of the team right here, if Birdo tried to star swing, she would not be able to star swing. Because you would you would because then you would need two stars in order to activate the star swing. But because this person has Captain Birdo, as you can see in the top left, even though she only has one star, Birdo is still able to use the star swing. And the reason why Birdo's egg is so deadly, because right here we have a situation with runners on first and second. Even better if you have a situation with bases loaded. But Birdo's egg is, is so unique because Yoshi's egg is a bit worse than Birdo's because Yoshi's egg, when you, you hit it, it kind of bounces in the infield first. And it can really only be a single and double in some cases. But Birdo's can go into the outfield and it can go range from doubles to triples and singles. So Birdo egg just has much more options. So in an opportunity where you have runners on base, you want a very good RBI production hitter like Birdo with her star swing. It does a great job scoring runners. And as you can see here, it, this Birdo egg will score Yoshi all, all the way from first base. So we'll play the clip now. See, lands in left field, and takes crazy wacky bounces. Drybone's having to chase it. And Birdo gets a two RBI double out of that. So that right there is a great reason why, if you can, you should probably make Birdo your captain because her captain star swing is arguably the best in the game. And because her she can't really hit for home runs because she's a bounce character, you pretty much need perfect contact. And her slap hit isn't too good. It's not too consistent. It's so important to make Birdie your captain because it just enhances her value because she basically can become a one-star swinger that can score you a lot of runs. However, there's a trade-off with the Birdo egg, as you can see in this clip. And just like the one-star swings that I gave examples earlier showing in the game, the... um. It does have the tendency to, to double play, especially if you get jammed on a pitch. So in this example here, we have one out, runners on first and second again, and um, the Birdo team is trying to score more runs. So on this clip, we'll see Toadsworth pitch an in inside pitch, and Birdo will try to do the star swing. Gets jammed, and it goes right to the second baseman, and it can double play. So that's the one downside to Birdo. It is pretty RNG when you hit the ball, although if you do get jammed, you are more likely to get weak contact, and it can pretty much get gobbled up by the infield, and because it's so hard to send your runners back immediately, it's pretty much a guaranteed double play, so it is a very high-risk, high-reward star swing. Um, personally, for me, I think it's worth um, being able to make Birdie your captain if you can, just because if you're able to get good contact with the Birdo swing, then the egg can score so many runs that I definitely think it's worth uh, picking up for your team. So we're going to stick with the middle infield here. And we're going to find my man Donkey Kong, if I can find him through all these tabs. So right here. Donkey Kong, in my opinion, is the second best character in the game because he can hit home runs. I'm not going to explain with like power hitters why they're so good. Um, characters like Hammer Bro, King Boo, Petey Piranha... Bowser, Donkey Kong, they can hit home runs where a lot of other characters in the game cannot, so that alone makes their value super helpful. But Donkey Kong is pretty unique because um, alongside Pink Menace, as you, can, as you can see right here, Red Pianta over here, DK is arguably the best all-around middle infielder in the game. And that's because his hitbox is huge. He has an ability called Laser, which if y'all don't know what Laser is, it means... If a runner is rounding third and trying to score home, as soon as DK throws the ball, it'll be a very fast throw to home plate, and it's very good at preventing runs from scoring. So that alone makes his ability super good.
But um, he also has a great dive range, as you'll see in a couple of clips here. So as you see, Dry Bones goes for a star swing, and Birdo, or in Donkey Kong, pretty fancily ranges to his right, is able to field the ball with his great dive range, rolls over second base for the force out, and then throws it to first base for double play. So that was a pretty unique example there. You won't see that happen too often. But um, another one right here, Donkey Kong having great range on this Mario hit. And just like that, that like look how look how deep this this ball was going to the outfield, like that's crazy dive range. Like that's this is pretty much like Donkey Kong, um, Birdo, Yoshi, and I'd say even Wario middle infield exclusive of catching those balls. So that's why DK is so valuable, and DK is better than all those other middle infielders I listed that can catch that ball because he has the laser ability, which just gives more run prevention for DK. So sticking with DK, we're going to show why DK's good on offense besides just hitting home runs. Just got to find the clip. I thought I had all these ordered, but it can be hard to find them. All right, DK. Okay, this one right here. So this is me using DK. And as you can see, we have a situation. Base is loaded with no one out. And... DK star swing is just as good as Birdo's as scoring a lot of runs because as you saw in that Yoshi clip when Yoshi caught the banana ball, um, DK's ball always goes into the outfield and it curves it so it can be hard for outfielders to try to line up with the ball and catch it. And if it goes to and if it goes all the way to the center field wall, a lot of times it's gonna score at least two runs. And in, in, in this example right here, as you can see, I have Toadhead on first base. Toadhead and Yoshi are both the highest highest rated speed characters in the game and a lot of times if the ball goes all the way to the center field wall it it will score them from first base so this right here is going to be an example of how just dk star swing is going to result in a three rbi double and again as of note right here um as you can see birdo is fielding here at shortstop for the other team so in this situation where you don't have birdo i highly recommend making donkey kong your captain because his star swing is just as good as birdo's Making him your captain, as you can see, makes it only cost one star. So if DK wasn't my captain here, again, it's important to reiterate, I would have had to use two stars, but because he's my captain, I only have to use one, so I still have the option to, to go for the star swing here. So we're going to play the clip right now. Makes contact, goes all the way into left center, all the way to the wall, and that's a three RBI double. So yeah. That just goes to show how valuable, in my opinion, the cap captain star swings are with both Birdo and DK. I'd say DK's is a lot more consistent than Birdo's in terms of landing and scoring runs. But um, DK's just so good at other things like his slap hitting. He's able to hit home runs. So um, I'd say Birdo needs the star hit more than Donkey Kong. But just goes to show how valuable of a character Donkey Kong is because he has that great range at shortstop to field those line drive balls he has the laser beam ability that prevents runs from scoring and he's basically a swiss army knife at the plate because he can go for the home run he can go for the star swing and if you slap or go for a regular slap him you push the ball to left field it'll land in left field oftentimes so that just goes to show why donkey kong is so good next up we are going to talk about magic koopa so, as you saw earlier with Magic Koopa, he has the great line drive star swing. So that alone makes him a pretty decent character. But what makes Magic Koopa so unique is that, in my opinion, he's the best third baseman in the game. Or you can play him first base, basically a corner base position. And that's because his hitbox is huge. When Magic Koopa jumps up, he sticks his like a magical wand up, and that extends his overall hitbox across everywhere that's programmed. So when he jumps, if the ball, even if it's over Magic Koopa's like the pointy top of his head, because his wand sticks up higher, even if it's not hit directly at the wand, it'll still make a catch for him. And it'll also never bobble because Magic Koopa has the ability where if it's hit right at him, the ball will not bobble. And with any character, if you go for a jumping catch, the ball will not bobble either. So in this example right here, we'll see Blue Noki come up trying to go for a single. And Magic Koopa jumps up, makes the catch very nicely. 
The downside of Magic Koopa, though, is that he's a very slow character. I'd say that's just about his only weakness. He's a great fielder at first and third base because he can jump and catch those balls. He has a pretty okay. Sl he has a pretty good slap hit, and he has the one star swing line drive available that's also really good. So that right there just shows why if you do draft Magic Koopa, you can play him at first base or third base. He also has the magical catch ability, where I'm sure if you all played the game when you were younger, you know Magic Koopa kind of like stirs like the wand and creates like a magical sort of fishing rod that tries to reel the ball in and that it's not as good as yoshi's tongue and birdo's suction in terms of the range but um it's an okay option if there's a ball hit directly left to the left or right of magic koopa when they're trying to field third or third base so next we're going to talk about some other players that can play the corner base so this is an example of waluigi i personally like waluigi because i think his singles bat is pretty consistent his star swing is awful, but um, I like playing him at first base because he has the super jump ability, as you'll see in this clip, and he has a kind of mini laser, where his laser isn't as strong as, let's say, Bowser, Donkey Kong, and, and Pianta, but it's still a pretty good throwing arm, but he can make these really nice jumping catches that, um, in this title, I also said King Boo in the Twitch clip. I didn't necessarily grab one of King Boo because it might be a bit redundant. But pretty much any super jump character, especially Waluigi and King Boo, because their hitboxes are so big and wide, when they super jump, they'll catch the ball pretty much every time. It's almost as good as Magic Koopa, but in my opinion, I think Magic Koopa is still better. So here we go with a pink menace hit. Waluigi makes a great jumping catch. And on that catch, you can see he kind of caught with his feet. So even if the. So that's the thing with Waluigi, because he's so tall. Even some of the lower balls that maybe another super jump character might have jumped over, like let's say a paratroopa. Um, paratroopa can play first base as well if you want to draft paratroopa, but maybe paratroopa probably jumps over that ball because he's not as tall when he jumps. That ball probably goes underneath his shoes, whereas Waluigi's, his legs are so long and he's just so tall and wide with his hitbox in general that he can catch regular jumping catches as well as the um, super, super high ones. And King Boo as well can make that catch, so... Just keep that in mind. You want to play Magic Koopa and any super jump character on um, first or third base. So uh, sticking with King Boo is um, King Boo is another interesting character because he plays a great first and third base, and um, he can hit home runs. He can hit them to left field and right field with his kind of curved trajectory when he hits the ball. I'm sure a lot of you know playing growing up how Boo, King Boo, and Boomerang Bro kind of have this weird curve on the ball when they hit it. So um, for Boomerang Bro and King Boo, primarily, it's pretty good at hitting home runs because it can kind of just curve over to the outfield wall. It can be difficult to hit consistently, though, because a lot of times the game will just barely push the ball foul. So um, that's something you have to keep in mind. But what makes King Boo unique, or not necessarily unique, because regular Boo has this also, but um, say you don't want to try going for the home run because in general, just going for a slap hit is easier. You can just press the A button right here and uh, go for go for a slap hit. So King Boo tried charging there, but missed. This, this clip's a bit longer. So right here, they go for the slap hit. And it's, as you can see, it curves right before the right field line. and goes all the way to the foul wall. So that, so that right there is a really good example of King Boo going for a slap hit and being able to get a double out of it and scoring a run. So I'm kind of sticking with the Boo philosophy. I'll also show why Boo is such good value as a character. Just got to get right here. Here we go. So Boo's hap slap hit works pretty much just the same as King Boo's. I'd say it's a bit better in my opinion because since King Boo's a power hitter, he hits the ball a bit harder. So sometimes if you don't hit it super precise like that previous hit, it could um, hang up in the air for a while, and the outfield can catch it. But Boo, he's not as strong, so his power is just good enough to get past the middle infield, but not too hard to where it goes to the outfield to where they can catch it. So there's a lot of times where Boo can hit the ball and get doubles a lot of the time, as you'll see here. Just a nasty hit. N not, e not even Yoshi left field catches that. That just goes to show how good Boo slap hit, because it can curve for those doubles like that. And um, I'll let this clip keep going because I think it's kind of funny. So P. Prawn is a character that has the ability body check. 
So if you time your, your running on the base pass just properly, you can go for a buy check right there and possibly be safe and knock the ball out. Although a lot of the time, it's basically kind of like a, a, cha a random chance whether you'll get the buy check to work in the ball with the ball or the, um, the fielder will like kind of hold their ground and still tag you out when you go for the buy check. So that's just one other, other thing to keep in mind. So I'm sticking with Boo. Even though Slap hit's very good, that's not the primary reason you draft him, I'd say. Boo is very good because, in my opinion, he is the best pitcher in the game. He gives you the best value at the pitcher position because his stuff on the mound is very good. But as you saw with his slap hits, that can be for doubles. That's also really good, in my opinion. So um, we'll just show right here. This isn't the best example of Boo pitching, but in terms of what I was trying to find... For a, I spent a, quite a bit trying to find some examples of players. So and this is the best I've found in a couple of hours of me searching. So Boo is a character that pitches the ball fairly fast, but still has pretty good curve on the ball. So that th that right there is a pretty good take by Hammerbro to lay off that pitch on the outside. That was just a bad swing by Ham Hammerbro, but as you see right here, Boo just kind of freezes Hammerbro. He started on the middle of the plate and then worked it inside on the corner because boo pitches pretty fast it can um at least in my opinion if i'm going against a boo pitcher it can um sort of freeze you at the plate so um we're going to go into a different example of pitching here now though and this is in my opinion the second best pitcher in the game now i'm sure a lot of you are wondering like oh wh where, where's waluigi like why isn't why aren't there examples of him pitching um, Waluigi, I think he's a fine pitcher. I would not say he's a top slash elite pitcher like any of these three pitchers. Um, the three pitchers being Boo, Diddy Kong, and Dixie Kong. Now, Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong are very similar. Um, I didn't want to get an example of Dixie Kong because, in my opinion, they're pretty interchangeable. Just some very slight differences. But what makes them different from Boo is that they pitch the ball a little slower than Boo. But because they pitch it slower, they have some great curve manipulation. So this is a pretty long clip, so I'm going to show you this entire at bat as to how Diddy Kong is so good at curving the ball and just makes it very tricky to kind of line up your bat to make good contact on him. So the first pitch, just so slow. King Boo is ahead of it. He kind of started middle away, then worked it inside. King Boo fouls it off to get two strikes. And Diddy Kong, again, just curving it super away, just so much control. And right there, he was going to go outside, but at the last second, curved it inside. So that was good on King Boo to make contact and foul it off. And again, so much curve on the outside. King Boo just barely able to get a hold of it to foul it off. That was, that, I want to go back right here. This, In my opinion, this is actually just a really good take by the King Boo player. But on this pitch, like, he starts away, then just milks it off the plate at the last second. And I would have swung at this, and I probably would have struck out. But this just go goes to show, like, how good of a pitch pitcher Diddy Kong is. And, and you need a lot of discipline to um, lay off his pitches because they can be really tricky towards the outside part of the plate. So let me play it again. Like, right there, like, that pitch is just so good. So another another foul ball. All right, so we got a full count. This is great at bat. And just look at that pitch. Like, this pitch was this pitch was filthy. We'll watch it one more time. He starts outside, and just so much curve Diddy Kong manipulates. Like, and it just catches that inside part of the play. Like, it's just gross. We'll watch it one more time because it was that good of a pitch. Just like that. Barely catches the inside corner. So, yeah. Um, I think that clip, especially with Diddy Kong, just shows how good of a pitcher he is because he's just so different from Boo because he's a bit slower and just has more kind of curve manipulation. So um, it's definitely for different styles. I'm personally a Boo pitcher guy. I like being able to have the faster speed on my on my balls that I pitch. And I think it's e a bit easier to jam hitters like that. But a lot of times there's other great players that are good with Diddy Kong that are more successful with getting the like the swing and misses that Diddy Kong can provide you. So I think we got one more clip, maybe a couple. Okay, so here we have Wario. 
Uh, War is another character I mentioned earlier in terms of a middle infielder. In my opinion, he's probably the fourth best middle infielder. Um, kind of tied with Daisy. I don't have any Daisy clips here because there's not too much data on Daisy clips in terms of the net play community. But um, Wario's dive range is almost unmatched, in my opinion. I'd argue and say Wario's dive, dive range is just as good as Donkey Kong's, if not a little better. It's just what kind of holds him back is that he doesn't have the laser ability, so he can't really throw runners out at home. And his throwing arm is a bit more to be desired. It's pretty average. Donkey Kong is a better throwing arm. Uh, uh, Piazza has a better throwing arm. So, in my opinion, Wario slash Daisy are kind of the last resort second base picks. But um, the reason why you'd want to pick Daisy is because her range is a bit worse than Wario's, but she does have the quick throw ability, so a lot of times she can turn double plays, which, um, as I'm sure you all have um, experienced when you play as a kid, you maybe had Peach, Daisy playing shortstop second base and the quick throw to turn the ball to first play, first base to get the double plays. But we'll uh, watch this clip here. Wario, such great range, just able to dive and make that play. Not a lot of fielders make that play, so that's just a really good play by Wario. And I have one more Wario example here as to why he's so good. This this is more on a like a line drive hit. Like right there, Wario just great range. Just overall pretty good second baseman. His um his bat is kind of okay. It can be hard to get singles with him, and even though he's a power hitter, his um power stat wise isn't um as good as let's say pd piranha um king boo hammer bro etc to where he can't really hit home runs unless you get perfect contact so Wario can struggle with that so next we are going to talk about pink menace finally as you can see abbreviated as pm he's red piazza but the competitive community calls him the pink menace um just because he's called red piazza but let's be honest like that man's pink he's a just looking really pink out there. So um, here we're going to see how Piazza, even though he's so big, you wouldn't think he would have such good range. Similar with Donkey Kong, you know, they're kind of big, bulky. You think, and, and he's pretty slow. Like, he's pretty much tied for the lowest speed in the game. But he has pretty good range on his dive, as you'll see here. So that dive catches it right there. And again, similar to Donkey Kong, he does have the laser ability. So that's why he's very popular as a middle infield option. Uh, just overall as a character, he's worse than Donkey Kong because Donkey Kong has a better dive range than Pink Menace. He has just a better bat than Pink Menace. He can hit home runs. He has a better star hit. Um, and Piantis, ba Piantis basically like a discount DK option in the middle infield. He's still not bad. He's still a perfectly fine player. I'd say about a top 10 player in the game in my opinion. But um, if you have the option, definitely try to snag Donkey Kong as one of your top picks. So lastly, of all the clips, I got one more for you all. And this is a, an ability that I personally did not know existed until I joined the competitive scene. Um, it's an ability called Wall Jump. Now, certain characters have it. Um, Mario has it. Luigi has it. Bowser Jr., of all people, has it. I always thought that one was kind of weird. Um, Baby Mario has it. Baby Luigi has it. And Toadette has it. In my opinion, I think Mario is the best overall character out of all those because his fireball star swing is just pretty good. If he can get past the infield, it can go to the outfield and score runs that way. Um, his slap hit's pretty good, but his bat reach is kind of more to be desired. But um, you play him at right field because his wall jump is by far the most consistent, as you'll see in this clip. So what wall jump basically is is it's a ball. It's an ability that activates that the ball is going to be a home run. The person hits the ball it's like dang that's going to go over the wall it's going to be a home run but how it activates is if you press a at the warning track you don't have to press it twice you just have to press it one time it um the character will jump on the wall do a wall jump and kind of catch it if you um watch the intro cutscene, luigi does this in the opening so i never knew this existed until i um came into the meta so this is definitely a very cool ability so as you can see, Boomerang, Brawl, Boom, Boomerang Bro hits it, and Mario just does a wall jump, makes a catch. We'll watch it a couple more times. So as you can see, does it right on the warning track and catches the ball. And this is and this is a very important ability because 
um, run prevention's a premium because of the characters that can hit home runs. And if you're able to just rob a home run like that, it can be a great way to like kind of give you a momentum boost. So we are going to go back to the game capture. So those are the more specific characters I want to talk about as to um, why they're so good. Um, I guess we'll start with the power characters. Bowser's good because he hits bombs. Like He has the biggest bat reach in the game. Um, you, if you played him as a kid, you know Bowser's so good at hitting home runs. Bowser Jr. isn't too good because he's kind of slow in the outfield. He does have that wall jump ability. But um, he can't. he's definitely the worst power hitter in the game, so he's kind of hard to see the field. Wario can't really hit home runs, but as you saw in the clips, he can play a good second base with his diving catch ranges. King Boo, great corner baseman that can hit home runs. Also has a bit of utility with a slap hit to be able to hit doubles. And um, Hammer and Boomerang Bro, I'd say are preference. In my opinion, Fire Bro is just kind of bad because he has low trajectory as... I'll show you guys here if I can remember how you do it. Can you not do it on this menu? Hold on, let me go. Let me go to exhibition real quick. Cuz this is another thing that makes characters very important as to why they're good or bad. So go to exhibition. We'll just pick Mario. And if you hover over a character, you should be able to press Z. Okay, so here we go. So this is what we call trajectory. Now, as you can see with a character like Hammer Bro, he has the um he's a pull hitter because he's defaults to righty. So as you can see the red arrow on the left, that shows he's predominantly wanting to pull the ball. And the arrow on the right means he has the highest trajectory. So when he gets a hold of a ball for a home run, it tends to go pretty high, which can be a bit hard to wall jump. Now, um differently with um hammer or not hammer bro, but a different colored hammer bro. If I can show it here fire bro fire bro's trajectory it's the red arrow at the very bottom right it's all the way low so this means a lot of the times when he tries to when he makes good contact with the ball it'll be a low line drive which kind of sucks because out of the three colors he has the highest power stat but um because a lot of the times the ball hits is low on the ground it's not going to be a home run too often and then lastly boomerang bro as you can see his trajectory is middle both ways so he that's why with his curve trajectory so good because he can pull it with him because the curve kind of gives a boost as to how far the ball goes he can hit it to left field or right field and then his middle trajectory means he doesn't hit the ball too high he doesn't hit the ball too low it's um pretty much a decent chance that the ball will be high enough to be a home run or sometimes it'll still be low and give you that low trajectory and similar with a character like um red piazza here the pink menace he has that low trajectory as well, so Red Piant is an interesting character because he can still hit home runs if you pull the ball, but um, his power stat is so much lower than the other viable home run hitters that um, he needs that chemistry boost. Well, it doesn't need it, but it helps, so since Piant has chemistry with Noki, and Noki kind of has that one star swing as I showed at the beginning, it can make this these two a very dynamic duo in your lineup. So if you put Noki in front of Piant and Noki gets on base, she'll give Pianta chemistry and what chemistry does for offense is it only affects charge swing so you, you can't slap hit you won't get a, a hitting boost with the slap hits but if you charge it'll give um Pianta just a bit more of a boost to um, possibly get the ball out of the park so chemistry isn't as important in this game as it is in super sluggers but it has very niche situations that in my opinion i think it's more important in the field with throwing arms like throwing it from your right fielder to the person covering second base, first base, etc. Um, your shortstop, if you field it with your shortstop and then throw it to first base, if you have a chemistry link there. So um, I'd say that's where chemistry is more important. But um, yeah, that's pretty much just about does it for the power characters. Overall, a lot of these characters are very good. In my opinion, Bowser, Donkey Kong, Hammer Bro, Boomerang Bro, PD Piranha, um, Red Piant and King Boo should all be seeing the game. They're all top 10 characters in my opinion because most of them have the ability to hit home runs and they all play the field pretty well except for Hammer Bro. I'd say Hammer Bro doesn't really have a position. His throwing arm's kind of bad. His hitbox is kind of small. And um, he just 
can't really play the field because he's not fast. Nope, no big hitbox, kind of bad throwing arm. Whereas Bowser, his hitbox is still pretty big, plus he has a laser. So if you need a first baseman, you could possibly play Bowser there. Don Kong already went over at the middle infield. King Boo could play a corner base. Wario, he can, um, he's not a top 10 character. I'd say he's about top 18, about mid-tier. He, um, his fielding ability at second base definitely carries a lot of weight to his value. And um, so Wario and Pianta both play a great second base or shortstop. And then PD Piranha, this is very important. So as you probably heard in Foolish Bailey's video, PD Piranha is so good because he has the strongest throwing arm in the game. So as he said, you want to stick him at catcher because it pretty much makes steals unobtainable, even with speed characters like Toda and Yoshi who are the fastest. Even if they get a perfect steal, they um, PD will still throw him out. So PD, definitely a great value to stick at your catcher position. Next of the speed characters, Yoshi, easily top character in the game. I'd say easily top six, in my opinion. Just the best fielder with the tongue catch. He has a good slap hit. And um, you draft him for his fielding ability because, as you saw in those left field clips, he just catches so many balls that would land for hits if any other player was trying to field it. So that's why I drafted him. Diddy Kong, great player. Definitely a character that should probably see every game, um, depending if you want to use Diddy Kong or Dixie Kong. They're just such great pitchers with their curve curving ability to uh, pitch the ball. So yeah, Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, they're not too good. They do have the wall jump ability, but they're just singles bats are so bad, and they don't really have a star swing to give them a hitting boost, and their hitboxes are very small. They have um, very bad throwing arms, so they're a pretty big liability on your team in my opinion. Toadette's interesting because as you can see here her special talents she has two of them she has wall jump and sliding catch and um, sliding catch for in those warrior clips that I showed where he kind of had those sparkles when he dived that's basically what sliding catch is. It's not proven whether sliding catch gives the player extra range on their dive. We don't have concrete data yet from the data mining but um, it's basically supposed to help your dive range but it's not proven whether it actually does we pretty much think that these sparkles on the sliding catch basically just make your dives look cooler with sparkles but she also has wall jump so if you don't have mario and you want a better overall all-around right fielder in terms of defensive ability wise not at the play because toadette's bat is very bad because her bat reach is short um draft toadette she can play a great right field for defensive purposes and she's very fast so if she gets on base she can see a lot of bases yeah what makes her makes her unique her her um, abilities wall jump super catch or sliding catch my bad she's the only character that isn't a captain character that has two of these so as we'll go back with a character like let's say donkey kong you'll see he has clamber and laser beam since he's a captain character uh, bowser body check laser peach quick throw super catch but if we go to another character, like let's say Paragoomba, he only has one ability. It's Super Jump. Noki, one ability. Sliding Catch. Monty Mole, Ball Dash, one ability. Toadsworth, Super Catch, one ability. So Toadette's the only non-captain character that has two abilities. It doesn't really enhance her value too much. It's just kind of like a cool, hey, like this is pretty cool they had this in the game. Um, Noki, as I showed earlier, if the one-star swings with green Noki, it's pretty good. And if you make her red, similar to a red shy guy and red Pianza at the beginning of the video also, if you do that jammed hit with her, it can land for a little pop fly single. So Noki, a good option if you want to be a, want her to be on the same team as Pianza to enhance um, Pink Menace's value even more. Paragoomba, in my opinion, is the worst character of the game. His bat's awful. His ability, it's redundant to other characters with super jumps that are just better characters like Waluigi has super jump, Luigi has super jump. Paratroopa, Super Jump, King Boo, Super Jump. They're just all better characters, so I would just never draft Paragoomba. Monty Mole is interesting because, as you can see here, he has Ball Dash. And in my opinion, Ball Dash is pretty good. But right now in the meta, it's not too useful because the two characters that do have it, Goomba and Monty Mole, as you can see, they have Ball Dash. Monty Mole is just, his hitbox is very small. His speed is... Um, low tier for a speed character. He only has 6 out of 10 speed. So that's pretty bad. Um, his bat's okay. It's just he can't really play the field well. Because he's too small. And that pretty much does it for the speed characters. 
Next up, Technique, Peach. Um, Peach is an interesting character because she is an okay pitcher, but um, compared to Boo, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, her pitching ability just isn't on the same level as those three. And what holds her back is her singles bat. Her slap hit is very short, so um, it can be hard for her to reach the outside pitches. And even then, it's um, hard to get it past the infield because her power on her slap pitch is kind of poor. So um, with these technique characters, it's also important to mention that when you go here, you'll see their trajectory is um, a push trajectory. So in this instance, Waluigi's trajectory is push because he's on defense he's a lefty by default and peach is a righty by default so as you can see they have push trajectory so what that means is if you hit the ball opposite of they are in the box basically pushing the ball it gives your slap hit power a bit of a boost so this is very good for magic koopa especially it makes magic koopa's singles bat pretty good toadsworth interestingly enough doesn't have push or pull he has just normal middle trajectory which honestly makes him the best slap hitter in the game because it kind of just push it or pull it to all sides of the field and it's by far the most consistent singles bat in the game there's tons of data and vods of just toadsworth getting so many singles plus he has that stars that star swing that I, that I showed earlier so definitely just he's basically the character you draft because he'll get you he'll get on base for you because he'll get a single his fielding ability isn't too good you pretty much stick him in center field because that's kind of like a dead position in this game. So yeah, Toadsworth, great at hitting the ball. And with Dixie Kong, you draft her for her pitching, but she can push the ball because she has that technique traits and she's a push hitter. Boo, he's just so good. He has, he has middle middle trajectory, so he can go for those slap hit doubles to either left field or right field. It's just so good and his pitching is supreme. The only weakness to Boo is that um, he can't really play a position if he gets um, tired. So um, that's the one downside of Boo. And then Paratroopa, especially the uh, the green one. Let me switch it to green. He has that line drive star swing. He has a very good throwing arm. So if you play him in the outfield and you need to get the ball in quickly, that is something he can do. So he's great at getting the ball in quick. His um, singles bat's okay. And um, you basically draft him for his one-star swing ability and because he can play in the outfield position okay. Madge already went over him. He's um top 10 character in the game. He plays third base like no one else, catches so many balls towards those corner bases. Slap hits good. He has a star swing. He's just he's a game changer at, at third or first base. And then dry bones. He has the um the one star swing, but um he can't really play the field well. I don't draft him too much. You basically draft him as a one star swinger if you do want him on your team. He's just pretty much a liability because his sliding catch ability even though he has it his dive range is very poor so that pretty much does it for technique and then toad toad's bad because his hitbox is small or at least the red one is what's interesting with toad is actually the hitbox size fielding um they're all the same except for red toad toad is the shortest but in exchange his batting for some reason they programmed his hitbox differently to where you can kind of crowd the plate so you can reach a bit further outside for outside pitches with Red Toad. But regardless, unless you do the the weird one-star pop fly star swing that Red red and Purple Toad have, um, you probably shouldn't draft him. Birdo already mentioned her egg ability and suction. It's just so good. Daisy, as I mentioned with Wario, is pretty much interchangeable with him. Um, her slap hit's fine. It's just she plays a good second base. So her sliding catch range is pretty pretty good. Not as good as Wario's in my opinion, but she does have quick throws, so maybe you can turn a bit more double plays. So it's a bit of a trade-off with those two characters. And then Koopa, he's pretty bad. Red Koopa does have the pop fly star swing, but not too much data has been tested with it yet. So hard to say if that'll ever give him enough value. He just can't really play the field at all. He's slow, he's short, his sliding catch die range is kind of bad. And then Goomba, he's just a better version of Monty Mole. He, um, he can pitch if you do a lot of charge pitches, but it's a bit gimmicky. You have to have a lot of practice with Goomba in order for him to be pretty good. And then Shy Guy. I personally like Shy Guy because I think his slap hits very good. Plus, he has this new Pop Fly Star Swing now to where it can give him an option. If the pitcher decides to throw an inside pitch, Shy Guy can jam it and get that sort of nice single. Um, I don't think he's personally ready to be a pickable every game character yet. 
But um, I definitely could see it because I personally like him, and I've been doing a lot of practice with him, and his singles bat is pretty good. And then lastly, Mar and Luigi. They both have wall jump. Luigi has super catch, or not super catch, he has super jump. So if you want, you can play him at first base. So say you have Daisy second base. Um, Luigi at first base gives Daisy chemistry throws, so double, t double plays are more consistent. And then Luigi's fireball, it kind of stays on the infield on the ground. So it's not as good as Mario's because it can't really drive in runs. Luigi's fireball does make for a great two-star swing unless you make him in your captain, which you should never make Luigi your captain. But it can be a guaranteed pretty much sacrifice bunt because it burns the people on the ground or burns the fielder on the ground. And then Mario, he has sliding catch for the outfield. He's just, he's a, he's a great all-around player. Best wall jumper in the game, in my opinion. But um, yeah, that pretty much does it. I just want to give some examples. Basically, most importantly, of the two best captain star swingers and show examples of how the one star swings are good and kind of show why Diddy Kong and Boo are great pitchers and why Yoshi's so great in left field. And um, I wanted to show the middle infielder options because, in my opinion, the um, core of your team starts in the middle infield. And if you have a strong middle infield, then you're stopping a lot of slap hits and you're preventing a lot of runs. So um, I just want to show especially with those characters, that if you do pick them, that's why you put them there. So um, basically, you know, for Mario and Toadette, for, okay, I'll just go by positions real quick at the end. So right field, your best options are Mario and Toadette. Toadette's more of a defensive specialist. Mario, bit of a better overall all-around player. Center field, bit of a dead position on the field for you. Um, Toadsworth makes a good center field just because he has super catch, so you don't have to jump for balls to avoid bobbles. Um, Shy Guy can play center field if you like a slap hit. Uh, Paratrooper can play center field if you just want to have someone to play there and have a strong throwing arm. Basically, any play character that doesn't play the infield, stick him in center field. Hammer Bro, that's another character. Since Hammer Bro pretty much only hits you home runs, he can't really play a fielding position, so just stick him in center field, and it won't cost you too much because not too many plays are able to be made in center field. Left field... You want Yoshi here. He's the character that catches so many exclusive balls hit here. If you don't have Yoshi, um, Noki plays a great left field, especially if, if you have Pianza playing second base. So when Noki fields the ball, she has a nice, strong chemistry third of Pianza at second base. So Noki plays a good left field. Um, Paratrooba can play left field. Um, any other, if you have Toadette, um, she can play left field if you don't have Yoshi and say you already had Mario in right field. You can have Mario play right field. Next up for space, uh, Magic Koopa, King Boo, um, Waluigi, and um, Bowser, I'd say, are the four best first basemen in the game. And I've already explained why they're good. Second base, Wario, Daisy, Donkey Kong, Birdo, um, Pink Menace. Any of those combination of characters, they're pretty good. Same with shortstop. More, more importantly, though, Birdo and Donkey Kong and Pink Menace, I'd say those are the three best bets. Wario and Daisy are more um, primarily second base specialists. Third base, pretty much the same as first base. Uh, Magic Koopa, easily the best in my opinion, but King Boo has a pretty good throwing arm for throwing across the diamond. So Magic Koopa and King Boo, your two first picks for third base. Um, but Bowser, Waluigi could also play here and even um, Paratroopa, Luigi, because of their super jump, you can play them there too. Pitcher, Boo, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, just three best pitchers in the game. Um, if you don't end up getting those pitchers or say you really like Waluigi's bat and you, and you want to play Bowser first base, um, in my opinion, I still pitch Waluigi from time to time. He, um, I think he's just good because he pitches the ball really fast on those fastballs. It can be hard to react to. And then lastly, catcher, it should be PD Prana every time if you get him. If you don't have PD Prana, a lot of times um, people will stick Hammer Row back here. A lot of people will put Bowser here. It's just their throwing arms aren't as good as PD. So um, lastly, I guess I'll actually show some base stealing as the last sort of bit advanced metric of this game. So in this game, there's a mechanic called Perfect Steals. So if you press the Y button right when the pitcher starts their delivery to throw the ball, then, um, let's see, can I just do like free base running? I cannot. 
I'm sure the game will have a tutorial though. Do they not have? Okay, I guess they just don't have stealing. But um, I guess how? Oh, I I know I can do this in free batting. I can just do it in free batting. My my apologies. I just have to get a single then get on base. So uh, we'll go ahead and pick Yoshi here. So we'll go free play, batting, base running. We'll just use Yoshi. We'll get on base with Yoshi. I'll go and show off his egg ball here while we're at it. Or just miss the ball because I suck. What else is new? Okay, so we're going to get on base with Yoshi here. JK, <laughs> paratrooper field the ball perfectly well. All right, so we'll try again with Yoshi. Use the egg ball this time. Okay, that one's going to be a fair ball. So we're going to stay at first base. That was a really nasty Yoshi egg. So that, that example right there is a Yoshi egg. That would be a double. Okay, I missed the timing there. Luigi took a bit of a while to throw the ball. So we'll try again. So right there, as you can see in the top right, there was a yellow steal. And I was able to steal the base right there. So basically, right when Luigi starts the windup, you press the Y button, you get a perfect steal. And um, I'll do a different steal this time. I'll press Y super in advance, and it'll be a perfect steal. So I run a bit later. But that's how the stealing works. There's a purple steal and then the yellow steal, which is considered a perfect steal. So um, that's why PD is so valuable, because he basically throws out every perfect steal runner, e even if it's Yoshi. So that's pretty much it. Um, thank you all for watching. If you guys want more specific explanations, I recommend watching my tier list video that I will have linked below. If you want to learn about drafting teams in this game, the draft order, we use a draft called Nolan Draft. Basically, it's sort of like a snake draft where you start off with a first pick, or the first person gets one pick, and then the next person gets two picks, and then the person that picked first gets two picks, so it's just alternating two picks back and forth. And um, specifically with that draft, if you do draft Bowser, he has to be your captain. So, um, But there's more info in that video that I'll also have linked below. I mainly just wanted to show how the one-star swings work and why they're so good with those sort of non-captain characters, as well as some video examples as to why Yoshi in left field is so good and the um, middle infield are so good in corner bases and some pitching examples, stuff like that. So hope this all helped you guys for the new players trying to join. Sorry, it was a bit of a long video. <laughs> Definitely a bit of a long video, almost an hour long. But um, yeah, I hope this helped. This has been Matty Ice, and I'll uh, see you guys uh, another time when I talk about why I think the uh, Pop Fly Star Swing may not be as game-changing as a lot of people think it'll be. So um, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys then.